It's me again. And today, yes, I am drunk. That's my eyes hurting. I went and got the doctors and they cleaned it out and then I messed up wore off. Oh, <laughs> thank God for my excuse. But this video is for Australia Spires. You know, I'm so weirded out today. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, you got a fire issue going on down there. Now, I, I tried to explain to California, but they did not listen. So, I tried to listen, I tried to explain this to California, but they didn't listen. Alright, so what you got to do is you got to go and get you some them big old milk tankers. You know, that they got at the dirty farm, them big old milk tankers, and fill them full of water. Right? You can pull the water. Now, you build a special helicopter that comes down and lands on top of one of these trailers with the thing that plugs into it, right? Now, future can think future out of the box and quit trying to stop me. Think out of the box. I'm serious, this will work. Now, the people at the factory fire, they didn't listen to you, they lapped it off. But they could have stopped it a whole lot earlier, you know, just by listening to me. Now, what you gotta do is you gotta make an X. You know, like them drones out there. You know, the drones out there, there's a pellet out there, he's making fire hydrant things. And that's really cool, cause they'll be needed in the future. You know, but you can do them on a file tension. You know, with a pilot. So that way, you come over to the tanker and you land on it with the helicopter, right? That has four extending for extending um, props like like a drone has but they're for to you know to uh, blow water out in a fan like so you have an X underneath the helicopter that plugs up that's land on one of these tankers full of water that's already filled with water waiting for the fire to start it's already sitting there waiting, like, you know, we have 20, 30 of them sitting there with three or four helicopters, just sitting there waiting for the fire to start. You know, I could draw it out and make it be a lot better, you know. I hear you talking shit. Helicopter down here, and then one above it, and another one above it to make a bowl. Like, and then you fly over the fire with these four sprinkler heads and these six helicopters that make a Y 
or make it like a half bowl. So you fly over the fire in a half bowl, and uh, the water on the outside chases carbon dioxide forward. If there ain't no oxygen, it's all you're giving in that fire is burnt air, because you you know you're taking water and you're bowling it across. So when it falls, it falls in a bowl shape. You know, when the water falls in a bowl shape, then it compresses its burnt air. And yeah, the fire don't burn when there ain't no oxygen, and because it's all burnt air already. You see what I'm saying? Half a wit, half a mind, half a, half a wit, half a mind. So, uh, it's the, it's the only painkiller I'll allow myself to have. So, yeah, yeah, hooked up and. Uh, and uh, I went to using my tools without my safety glasses. It's my own fucking my own fault. And nobody blame me. And now the now the numbing stuff wore off, and oh. Um, Hopefully, hopefully one my one last use will be enough to put me to sleep. Uh, valuable lesson learned. Very valuable lesson learned. Yeah, I know I'm a fucking idiot. But I'm getting smarter with each stupid act. Yeah, okay. Enough complaining about me, let's get back in the bars. You know, the... The good thing is, is now that it's because the doctor's vision, vision one, I would recommend anybody to go, if they have eye issues, to go up there to, to, to go up there to the, ow. If you have any eye problems, those are the people you want to go see. You know, because they're really nice to your eyes. Yeah, uh, yeah well, if I wouldn't have gotten, if I wouldn't have been stupid and done, dust, rusty dusted my eye, I would, I would still be building. Yeah, he said three or four days. Yeah, it was sort of, man, I had to go get the rest of it out. I need better insurance. Huh? So, how, where did we get, how did we get stuck? Oh, yeah, because can't fucking reminder. Anyways, uh, back to the bar in Australia, I'm telling you, if you build a helicopter that fitted over a tanker that you could keep on hand full of water, and you used to put an X out underneath it with four, like, drone, you know, the fan, like the fans on the drone, or the propulsion on the drone, well, you put a 
uh, sprinkled head underneath that fan underneath and used it not as propulsion but used it as a fan to blow down you know what I'm saying huh. you me shut up one more time uh, I swear I'm going to put an astral egg over your head and I ain't got to hear you. So, now you aborigine people, you hear me? You are you wanting to burn your koalas up? Now, I'm telling you, this is a good way to do it. Now you need to do it. Along with California, because summer's going to be hell on you. Yeah. So if you build it now, if you build it now, then in the summer you'll be ready for it. You'll be prepared already. Oh, you get it. Otherwise, you're going to lose your homes and everything else. You don't, you don't listen to me about building garden dome homes, you know, which I absolutely have the perfect design for those willing to listen those to ears to hear and the eyes to see that I'm not joking I was never joking it was never a joke to begin with no one's laughing no one will laugh the only thing that'll happen is square houses go black in round dome houses give garbage to wind Garbage to wind allows the wind to go by without hindrance. A square house has all kinds of hindrance. Yes, a square house or a house with edges. It gives the air something to grab onto and then the airport can rip it apart and throw it all over like a mad little kid. <laughs> You think that is a joke? Well, uh, I should hope you're laughing. <laughs> Guess I gotta change my way of speaking in order for you to understand that if you keep filling the salt in the sea, with Mexico sewage, uh, LA is going to have, it means lung infections. But, you know, instead of taking care of the problem, we just get cheaper drugs to make it better. Huh. How many times I gotta offer you a better way out of what you're facing, but you want to continue on facing the continuance. And I tell you now, I'll tell you now, you keep following this path, this dark path you're on. It's better to walk away and join the Green Party than to continue on following the dark blue path. You know, it'd be better for you to join the Red Party. Because if you continue on with this little march to forth that is a negative progression, you're going to find yourselves in a situation you cannot get yourselves out of. Do you really want to put yourself in a situation you cannot get out of? Do you? Huh? Huh? You know... I'm saying water cleaning power plants to fund employed education into space exploration. I am talking 
garden dome homes with inexpensive materials to employ those homeless people willing to work out of it. You know, if they're willing to work, then let us employ them. You as a country, a state, city, should fund people like me to help resolve this issue that you continue to let grow in serving in chasing other effects that don't even have anything to do with nothing. So you sit there and do nothing but plan the demise of the American people. I think not. I think I am getting very, very upset with you people. Ah, you already did. You took my life and went like that, ripped it and shredded it and threw it to the side, and I had to fucking walk through it and pick up the pieces just to get where I'm at today. And I'm not even sure how I did that, but I'm here. And as long as I'm here talking in front of this, you are going to comply. If you don't comply, you will regret every day forward. No matter where you put me, you will regret it. <laughs> In the meantime, I suggest we come together and fund this old fucker to build garden dome homes. And in doing so, we can, we can pull out the ones that want to work, put them to work, and building garden dome homes, building dome facilities that would inpatient, you know, the mentally, and, you know, give rehab to those wanting a way out, you know, and there's ways of funding it, you know, you can sit in a basket and create methane, you know, which can be turned into propane, now, so, why are you drilling holes in the earth when you could just put a poo well in? incinerate the poo and take the crystal oils and let them break down in the methane. What's so fucking hard about that? You know, you just want to go run god dang well water. Oh, it's un unsettling and unsuitable. We need a better way. And I'm telling you, you got better ways. And if you're not willing to listen, well, then you should be drinking the water that is contaminating. And you should be bathing in the water that is allowing it to be infested. You know, I mean, god damn, you got a whole city of sewage going into the salt and sea. Why don't you go take a bath? Now, I'm offer many ways for y'all to get it cleaned up and fixed up and running right. And I don't know what I got to do. Then some witness. Uh, well, I don't know. It just didn't take a, a few miles juice and some more dust in the eye. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, no. Uh, I never want to live through this one again. Ever, ever, ever. From now on, I swear I'm going to wear safety glasses, and I'll be looking out that eye anyways, you dang spirit. I love you. I wish you'd see my way. I wish you'd love me back. I don't know why you hate me. 
don't know what I did to you. But it's not fun. Not fun at all. You know? I mean, what did I ever do to you? <laughs> what did I ever do to you? Why you gotta make it so damn...